Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time coming across one of my videos. My name is Lala Day Fashola and I am back with another natural hair video. Now in today's video I'll be showing you guys a protective style, a style that has been around for years and that style is African threading. So there's actually many different African threading styles. I believe we've all seen the one where you take a section of hair and you wrap the thread just to either get your hair stretched or to simply just protect your hair, right? And then there is flat twist African threading, which we'll be doing today. You already know how I feel about flat twist. We'll be doing that today as well as corn roll African threading. I know, I know. We'll get into that. And I also will be showing you guys how I take it down. So it's going to be a three in one video. And I'll be sharing my tips. And with all that being said, Let's get started. All right, so as you guys can see, I've already parted my hair. I did not want to stress about that for this video, okay? So I've already parted my hair, and we're gonna start with flat twist. So the product that I'll be using is this 100% acrylic yarn. I got this from Walmart, and the needle I'll be using is the bigger size. Is it gonna focus? There we go, there we go. Yeah, so we're going to be using the bigger one. And this is how it looks like this. I got it through by using one of these things. I actually broke it, but we're not going to get into that. So this side is going to be writing, and this side is going to be flat twist. So because I'm doing a flat twist, I kind of want the twist to come at a diagonal. It's not going to be too dramatic, but I still want that look just because it's flat twist for corn rolling we're going to do it in a different way so what i like to do is to kind of get extra thread as long as the section or i don't want it to be like too short because i don't want the end to be poking out right so i'll make it as long as my section put it up right on top and then grab the whole section like that and because this needle is not sharp at all, you really wanna get really close to the scalp. Like, see? You really wanna get really close to your scalp so your parts can look really clean. All right, so like I mentioned, we're starting off with the flat twist, so that means I'm going to start my needle off on the very edge, very corner of the section. And as I'm doing this, I'm making sure that the needle is really, really close to my scalp. And once I get the needle through, you just pull all the way until you're able to get a nice, firm, tight, not so tight grip on your hair. And as I'm doing this, you can see that my hand that is holding the rest of my hair you really wanna make sure that you have a nice grip keeping all of your hair kind of together. Now, one thing to remember when you are inserting the needle, you don't wanna insert it too close to the section that you just did. You know, while looking at a flat twist, you can see that there is a bit of space in between the indent of the actual twist so you're trying to mimic that look so you can't have the needle too, too, too close to what you just did. Another thing that will also help is that when you are putting in the needle, make sure that the thread that you lined up with the section is on top of the needle that you're putting through your hair, right? So you're really trying to get super, super close to your scalp to gather all the hair in that little small section. And as you guys can see, I'm kind of following the section. As I get to the back, you can see I'm not going up like this. I'm going from the bottom of the section to the top or from the side to one side. Yeah, so I repeat that same method all the way down to the back of my head and it did get a little bit difficult because I could not see but we made it so once I get to the end I just twist it away for later all right so showing you one more time what I did for flat twist I went ahead and aligned the end of my yarn with my entire section then got a nice grip on the entire section and went to the corner the edge 
of my section. <laughs> I'm saying section a lot, but yeah. So now that I got that, I am now gonna start putting the needle through the section. And I'm also going to make sure that I'm not too close to what I just did, right? I'm making sure that I'm mimicking the look of a flat twist. So I'm gonna keep going there, making sure I'm really close to my scalp and I'm gathering all the hair in that small itty bitty section, all right? <laughs> and I have to say, comparing both sides, cause you know I flat twist on my other side with my hands, comparing both sides, you can definitely see that the threading flat twist keeps my hair really close to my head. It keeps it really flat, you know, instead of having a bulge of a flat twist, it keeps it really close, which I actually like. So now we can start with needle and threading braiding style, okay? So how we started our flat twist is the same way that we'll start with our braiding, right? So we're gonna get the end of our thread, end of our yarn, whatever you're using, and we're gonna measure that for the entire, yes, section. <laughs> and remember in the beginning of this video that I said that I'm going to start off the braiding a little bit different than the flat twist? Yes, instead of going to the corner, we're gonna take our needle through one side of the section to the other instead of going just at the edge of the section, right? So now that my needle is through, you kind of want to make the beginning to be a bit tight like you did for the flat twist. So we're going to go through the entire section one more time from one side to the other to make it really secure. So now that our quote unquote starter piece is nice and secure and in place, we can now get into the technique of corn rolling with needle and thread. So what's gonna happen is that the needle is gonna go through only halfway through the section. So once I get it through halfway, I'm going to kind of lift the needle and get it through the middle of the section. Now, after doing that, you're going to do the same exact thing to the other half of the section, right? But each time you do it, you're gonna be moving back little by little. You're not doing it directly next to each other, if that makes sense. Now with this, you have to be really careful and really pay attention that you are making the needle come out from the middle in the same spot each time. Because if you don't, if you like, let's say mistakenly, you're like gearing off to the left side, then it's gonna look a little wonky. So you're gonna have to like try your best to get the needle to come out from the middle each time. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but as I went towards the back of my head, towards the thicker part of the section, I left more space than I did in the beginning because, you know, looking at a regular braid, it starts off small and then it becomes thicker as you get to the back of the head, right? So it's also trying to mimic that corn roll style. And this is how the needle and thread flat twist and corn roll style turned out. My hair looks so good, okay? The shine, okay, to be honest with you guys, my hair, it was actually due for a wash and the fact that it looks so good, it looks so shiny and so, mm, it just looks so good. And now the third and final part of this video, the takedown. Now for the flat twist side, it's actually very easy, you just pull, on the string and once it becomes a bit too long you can always just you know cut it off once you feel like all right it's getting a bit tough to take out but yeah you just pull on the string and it's 
very, very simple. Comes out with ease. I really got no snagging. I got no pulling while taking my hair down. So that was nice. And now with braiding, you might have to, you might need a little bit more patience than, you know, flat twisting. I mean, even with regular corn rolling too, regular braiding, it takes longer to take out. That's why I love doing flat twists. You know, it's easy to put in, easy to take out. But anyway, besides that, you, what I did for this section, I used a rat tail comb and I just pulled on the string. You know, it's easy if you're like in front of a mirror so you can see what you're doing. You know, me, I just had the viewfinder. <laughs> but yeah, it came out, I wouldn't say easy because I had to use a rat tail comb, but it came out, you know. But yeah. And there you have it, guys. I've shown you guys how to flat twist with needle and thread, how to do corn rolls with needle and thread, and also the takedown. So I thank you guys so much for making it this far into the video. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.